Hallelujah. Great morning for us to celebrate the goodness of our God. Even as uh, we're entering into a new year, let's remember to grow in the knowledge of our Savior in Jesus Christ. Paul said that he forgot the things that were behind him behind him. He said, I forget those things that are behind and I'm pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. And each of us, let's purpose this year to press forward more and more into the things of the Lord. In fact, this scripture in Isaiah is such an encouragement. The book of Isaiah 43, verse 18 through 19, it says, remember not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. And the Lord says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? And this is an amazing part. He said, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Do you believe that God is making ways for you? He didn't just do it for Moses or Joshua. But he's given us promises here that he's going to make ways for us in the wilderness. And maybe you are in a situation where there is no way. But if the Lord has given you a promise, he's saying to you he's going to make a way in that wilderness. And rivers in the desert. Let's declare that promise even as we're stepping into this year. Let's fill ourselves with the word of God. So let's say it together, Father, I thank you for making ways for me, rivers in the desert. I press toward the mark of the high calling that you have for me, not looking back, but running my race, looking unto you, the author and finisher of my faith. Amen. Let's encourage each other and say it's a new day. Look at each other and say, it's a new day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. God has new mercies in store for you. Don't look at what didn't happen. You know, that's the lie of the devil to make you discouraged. This didn't happen. That didn't happen. We got to say, Lord, I'm continuing on to press toward your calling that you have for my life. And believe also in store that God has good things for you. Don't ever choose to be in discouragement. You know, we see how discouragement is a tool of the devil to make you stay in one place. But for you to go forward, you have to encourage yourself every day. Every day. Because every day, each day that we wake up to, there are new mercies in store for us. Amen. We're going to sing It's a Brand New Day. And also, all of you online, join us as we celebrate the new year. We know that God is doing great things in store for us. And I believe he has more in store for you. Don't settle just for, well, it's going to be like this all your life. No, say, Lord, I'm going from glory to glory. That's what the Lord said. He changes us as we grow in his image from glory to glory. So purpose, they say, you're going to walk more in the knowledge of God and fulfill your calling. Amen. Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. We give you all the praise and all the glory. And Lord, even as we step into this new year, Father, we decree that we are pressing on toward your mark, pressing on to the greater things that you have for us. Even as you did not consider the present moment of suffering that you went through, but you looked at the joy that was set before you. And as you endured the cross, Father, we will endure in this life, looking unto you, Jesus, as the author and finisher of our faith. And not running our race with sadness, but with joy that you give us, which is our strength. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's praise him. It's a brand new day. Yeah, you can put your hands together. We celebrate the new day. for this brand new day 
Let's look unto Jesus. Let's purpose to look unto him. As long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he kept walking on the water. And even in this race of life, as long as we look to Jesus, you know, we're going to keep moving forward. Amen. Let's continue singing from Psalm 23, 6, where it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This song is directly from scripture. Let's believe. That's what we want following us, you know. We don't want, you know, things that are bad and evil to follow us. No, we want the goodness of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord to follow us. So let's declare what we desire. Goodness and mercy. Keep on following me all the 
to repentance. Oh, praise the Lord. Goodness and mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue praising Him. God is our refuge. He's our strength. A very present help in time of need. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge. Lord, we thank you. You're so good to us, Father. You've healed our bodies. You've kept us strong and in health. You've given us a sound mind. Father, we are so grateful to you for your protection over us this year, for all the blessings that you've shown to us. You said, Lord, your blessing makes us rich. It adds no sorrow. You have taken sorrow away and you've filled us, Lord, with your blessing. We're so thankful. Lord, if we look back, we're thankful, Father, for the life you've given us. Thank you, Lord, that we never have to suffer hunger or in need or in lack of any good thing. You've met all our needs. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue worshiping him. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of need. God 
is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in time of need. God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in time. Time of need, time of need. God is my refuge, oh yes, and my strength, a very present help in time. True. 
Look at each other and say that scripture that we were singing. Say to one another, goodness and mercy follows us all the days of our lives. Goodness and mercy follows us. 